Hi guys, Double Sided here with another Talent and Glyph Guide. Today I'll be talking about Beast Mastery Hunters, so let's jump right in. For level 15 talents, you can go either Narrow Escape or Post Haste, though Post Haste is generally the better of the two. This is because it allows your disengage to break movement and pairing effects, as well as giving you a 60% speed increase, whereas Narrow Escape only allows you to immobilize targets within 8 yards. Therefore, I only recommend Narrow Escape if you are against two warriors. For the level 30 talents, you should go Wyvern Sting or Binding Shot. Wyvern Sting is great as a focus CC because it requires little effort to apply and cannot be avoided, but Binding Shot is the benefit of countering a rogue stealth or priest guys if placed correctly. The decision is therefore up to you, but I would generally recommend Binding Shot unless you are against the healer, then go Wyvern Sting. For level 45 talents, you should go Spirit Bonds unless you are with a healer you can rely on, in which case go Iron Hawk. This is because as a BM Hunter, your only real heal comes from Spirit Bond, or Spirit's Mend if you have a Spirit's Beast, which I suggest you get. And therefore it is crucial, however if you have a healer you can trust to heal you effectively, then the damage reduction is better. For level 60 talents, you can go with any of them really, although I recommend Dire Beast. This is because Steady Focus can often be CC'd out of its duration, and Thrill of the Hunt only powers your weakest move in game, which is Arcane Shot, whereas Dire Beast gives you a mini burst every 30 seconds. For level 75 talents, you can go Blink Strikes if you're against High Mobility Comp, which is basically only the Monks, and otherwise, you can go Stampede or a Murder of Crows. I generally go a Murder of Crows for the short CD which you can pair with your burst, though if you can kill your opponents in 40 seconds and Stampede is obviously better. For level 90 talents you should always go Barrage. Despite the high focus cost it does a lot more damage than that of Arcane Shot and therefore you should always have it up in time, as your only other deep invest move is Kill Command. Barrage also synergizes well with Focus Fire. For your level 100 talents you should always go Adaptation, as this increases your pet's damage by increasing combat experience in your pet by 70%. It also allows your pets to gain all the benefits of the other trees, meaning you can let your pets go ferocious whilst gaining the cunning effects. Now for the glyphs. The only mandatory glyph is Glyph of Explosive Trap. This makes Explosive Trap become a knockback ability, allowing you to get away from your opponents when disengages off cooldown, as well as acting as an extra counter, instead of the dot it usually is. I would recommend using Glyph of Master's Cool as well, against many comps, as this makes Master's Cool make you immune to movement impairing effects for 8 seconds and not 4, which makes it a very nifty ability. For your third glyph, it really depends on the comp. If you are against a major or hunter, go for Glyph, glyph of Men's Pet, so your pet CCs get broken. You can also go Glyph of Tranquilizing Shop against the Priest for the Purge, like effect, Glyph of Deflecting Blades against two casters, and Glyph of Animal Bombs if you are with a healer, for their extra healing. That is all for this guide, if you enjoyed it, like, subscribe, or post a comment below. I will be happy to answer any question you have.